Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and uh, you're watching Beautiful Joy. And today, I want to go over uh, how an easy way to witness. Easy way, oops, the easy way to witness. I made this chart, our testimony and witnessing, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I make it easier to understand the authority and dominion God's given us. Now, right here is our job, our title description. It says, God said to them, subdue the earth, have dominion over every living thing. So, God gave dominion over all the earth, not the devil, not natural disasters, and so on. But man, now in Ephesians 3, it says, now the manifest wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. So our job basically is to, right now, is to make God's wisdom known to the principalities and powers. Now the principalities and powers and might and dominions are in heavenly places. But they're not supposed to be because heavenly places have been given to us. We're seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. That's our place, not theirs. We're seated at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. Now, what we're supposed to do is, <coughs> excuse me, tell the principalities, powers, mice, and dominions what God's purpose to be accomplished, accomplished in Christ Jesus. Take a look at some of the things he accomplished in Jesus. He accomplished our salvation and righteousness. He took all our lifetime of sins so we so we could be under a new covenant of grace. We're not we're no longer under evil conscience or a guilty conscience. We're to, we're not to earn things by our behavior or obedience, but but we get it by Jesus' perfect obedience and behavior. A lot of scriptures if you want to look up on grace at my website, robinbremer.net. It has a lot of things about grace and all the scriptures for that. But these are some of the scriptures here. What else did he accomplish? He was healing for us. He took all our sicknesses and diseases on his back so we could be healthy and heal other people. Because he took it, we just have to give it to him. Now, the blessing, he gave us a blessing with no curse. He took the curse, um, <clears throat> the curse of the law, which is in Deuteronomy 28. And he wanted to give us the Holy Spirit and the blessings of Abraham. And that's Galatians 3.13. Then, look down here further, he gave us prosperity. He became poor that everybody might be rich. And we're supposed to abound in the grace that Jesus became poor that we could become rich. Then he gave us a relationship, restored to us a relationship with God. Because we're seated in heavenly places and we're to seek heavenly things. We're just up uh, in heaven where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And that's where our needs are met. And these are the scriptures for that. Then also he gave us authority and power. Or all the power of the enemy. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of the world is cast out. In other words, Satan took our authority when Adam and Eve obeyed Satan and ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Then they began to experience evil with the evil Lord over them and ruler of the earth through default because he stole it from men. Now when Jesus died, he brought back that rulership and the devil has been judged and um, rulership has been taken out of his hand and put in his hand. He gave us power over all power of the enemy. Now we're supposed to rule and reign on the earth. And these are our scriptures. So, with this information, we'll rule and have authority and dominion. Our job is to tell the principalities, powers, mights, and dominions. Um, for example, you look at people and say, you know, you think this. Jesus already took all their sicknesses and diseases. So you talk to the principalities, powers, mights, the demons, spirits, and say, in Jesus' name, um, spirit of diabetes, I command you to go in Jesus' name. And come back no more. And I speak healing to their body, sugar to be regulated, blood sugar to be regulated, and so on. And what you do is tell the spirits, principalities, mites, and dominions, God's eternal purpose that He accomplished in, in Jesus, and that was by the stripes of Jesus we have been healed. And when you get someone saved, you're doing the exact same thing. What is in Jesus? He saved us by grace. And so when you let people know how to get saved, uh, whoever calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. Then you're showing the principalities, powers, mights, and dominions, God's, what God accomplished in Jesus. And that is our purpose. So, we are supposed to take authority and enforce it. We're supposed to do it with confidence. Um, and the Spirit of Truth is the Holy Spirit in us, and He testifies of Jesus, the finished work. Okay, now down here, 
are some scriptures. Mark 16, 17 says, These signs will follow those who believe. In my name they'll cast out demons, they'll speak with new tongues, they'll hand them the sick, and they'll recover. That's because what we're doing is we're letting the principalities, powers, might, and dominions know what God's eternal purpose is that he did accomplish through Jesus. He accomplished giving us authority. He accomplished healing. He accomplished prosperity. He accomplished wisdom, knowledge, he accomplished all those things, and now we are supposed to tell them and instruct them to do. First uh, Corinthians two one and five: the testimony of God, uh, and the, the testimony and the is that Jesus rose from the dead. The witness is that He's alive, and this is by demonstration through the Holy Spirit and power, because God wants our faith to rest in <clears throat> not that we can obey, not that we're so wonderful we can obey the commandments. We're so wonderful we obey God. He wants our faith to rest in the power of God. Now, speaking boldly um, gives you miracle signs sign and witnesses. When you speak boldly about what the Lord has already accomplished, um, excuse me, it gives you testimony to the Word of God, which is His grace, and He grants signs and wonders. Okay, and same for you. The work that I do in my Father's name bears witness of me. 10:25, and this. We're supposed to do the same works, Jesus did and greater works. And, the, and his are healed the sick, uh, raise the dead, cast out demons, lame, walk, uh, deaf, hear, and so on. And then Acts 4 33, he gave great, with great power, gave the apostles a witness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, our God is alive and <clears throat> active, and we are in force through the Holy Spirit in us what God accomplished, his eternal purposes that he accomplished through Christ Jesus, we are to let the principalities, powers, and so on know what that purpose is. We are to enforce it. So my name is Robin Bremer, and you can get more information on my website, robinbremer.net. And that's it for today.